Good morning. I'm gonna read from my book, The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. Today is February 13th, the day before the love day. What is not expressed? What is not expressed is depressed. It seems the more we express, that is, bring out what is in, the more alive we are. The more we give voice to our pain and living, the less buildup we have between our soul and our way in the world. However, the more we depress, the more we push down and keep in, the smaller we become. The more we stuff between our heart and our daily experience, the more we have to work through to feel life directly. Our unexpressed life can become a callus we carry around and manicure but never remove. Experience can in effect lose its essential tenderness and poignancy as we mistakenly conclude that life is losing its meaning. To a man unaware of the cataracts filming his eyes, the world seems dimmer, not his seeing. How often do we find the world less stimulating, unaware that our heart is diminished because of its encasement and all that remains unexpressed? Let me give a personal example. I have, for many reasons, including issues of my own making, wherever felt invisible in family or group settings. Initially, this stemmed from fearfully pleasing a self-centered mother at all costs. It led to years of unexpressed hurts and rejections that accrued into a callus that guarded the heart within my heart. I am and have always been a very open and emotional and accessible person, but at a certain depth, my core could not be touched. Though this started with mother, it affected the level at which I could relate with anyone. Eventually, this was not enough. I realized the world, world was not losing color, but that I was screening the deepest emotional colors out. That I state this so calmly and clearly is in one sentence hardly reflects a difficult and slow, elusive way this awareness painted itself into my daily consciousness. Rather, it emerged in me gradually as I began to acknowledge and voice the feelings of invisibility that I've carried all my life. Whatever your own example, it seems our authenticity is tied to what we, is depressed and what is expressed. Just as flowers need healthy root systems in order to blossom, feelings can only express their beauty when they are rooted cleanly within us, breaking ground in some manner, sprouting outside us. It is that delicate paradoxical inch of ground between surface and deep, between flower and root between what is allowed out and what is allowed in that continually determines whether we are living our lives or not. Recall the last time we felt depressed. Sit quietly and look inside and see if there's anything lodged or pressing there against your mind or heart. It might be a disappointment or injury that you don't want to accept about yourself or others. Treat whatever you find like a splinter and soften yourself with the slowness of your breathing so it can be removed. As you breathe, remember that you are larger than this hurt pressing in on you. I thought that's really pretty. I just love this guy, Mark Nepo. He's amazing. It really takes a certain soul to help you look at life a little differently, you know? I'm going to try and read this every day. It's going to be a lot of videos on my phone, but I'll just have to download, delete them once I download them to my page or something. Um, you like the video, please make sure to like it. Um, go ahead and share it if you want, and also comment below if you want me to talk about any other spirituality issues, topics, not issues, topics. Yeah. Alright, love you all.